Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'll be doing a review of BIQ. So BIQ is an AI powered SEO suite that helps you rank higher and get more traffic. So a couple things in which you're able to do with this tool is you're able to find your high value keywords, you're able to optimize your content all in one go, you're able to get your ranking data, track your SEO progress and organize all of your data in one place. BIQ is a fairly new SEO tool, and I did find them on AppSumo, so they do have a lifetime deal. The lifetime deal starts at $49, and you get two total seats included, 250 total researchers per month in terms of keyword research. You get 100 total analysis per month for content intelligence. You get 7,500 total ranking discovery, and that's one-time credits, and you get 100 total keywords in which you rank each month. If you wanted to upgrade, you can get the uh, double plan, which is $98, and you get double the amount. You get 500 total researchers, 200 total analysis, and 15,000 total ranking discovery, and 200 total keywords. So if you like this tool and you need more credits, you can always stack your codes. Keep in mind that this lifetime deal does end on November 29th. So you do have a couple of days to grab this lifetime deal if you would like to do so. So if you wanna grab a lifetime deal of BIQ, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. Once you have a plan for BIQ, you'll be able to access their different features. So you have the keyword intelligence, which allows you to generate semantically related keywords, conduct research for local SEO, uncover content ideas, popular questions and trending searches, and you have some other features included. You can also access their content intelligence, which analyzes 25 crucial ranking factors instantly, conducts word vector SEO analysis, measure the SEO value of each and every of your paragraph, and many more. You also have the rank intelligence, which discovers ranking that you don't even know, reveals your hidden ranking, identifies featured snippet opportunities on your website, and you're also able to get correct ranking and traffic data. Lastly is the rank tracker. So the rank tracker allows you to track the ranking of your pages, track ranking of your keywords, tracking of position zero and extra SERP features, and custom tagging for extra flexibility. So if you want to access any of these features, just click on that specific feature and you'll be prompted and shown how to actually use that for your website. So we've chosen the content intelligence feature. The first thing that we need to do is enter the target keyword for the page in which we want to analyze. So essentially we'll enter our target keyword and then we'll enter the page in which you're trying to rank for. And we'll be able to get a list of recommendations and ranking factors that we need to improve if we would like to rank that web page higher for that specific keyword. So I've went ahead and entered my target URL and my target keyword. And now let's create document and see um, what type of recommendations we get back from this tool. So once you enter that URL and your keyword, BIQ will pull all of the information from that page. And as you can see, you'll be able to get some recommendations on the right hand side here for that specific page. And you'll be able to see things in which you can improve upon to a rank higher for this specific keyword. So if we look at the word scope analysis, we can see that um, right now we have a content grading of a D. We'll be able to see our word count, our headings, and our links for this specific article in which we created. And if we scroll down, we'll be able to see suggested keywords. So these are the keywords in which you need to include within your article to improve your on-page SEO and to rank um, higher for related keywords and for your target keyword. So the first keyword that we see here is Jasper Boss Mode Tutorial. We can see that this is a 10 out of 10 importance, and we can also see how many times we've included this within our article. So we would definitely need to um, improve the amount of times that this is included within this article if you wanna rank for um, this specific keyword. Next up is Jasper Boss Mode Command. So again, 10 out of 10 importance, and it shows us how many times it's typically included in articles. And again, it shows us how many times we've included that within our own article. And if you actually click onto that specific keyword, you'll be able to see some example of how that content has been used in other articles and how you can use that within your own articles. You get a little bit more of a um, in-depth analysis once you click on those specific keywords. And again, scrolling down, we see other keywords such as Jasper boss mode features, Jasper AI boss mode, Jasper AI pricing plans, and so on. So this is actually a really, really good analysis that we're getting here. It's kind of similar to Neon Rider and some other content analysis tools, which um, pulls data and then gives you some recommendations in which you need to make to improve um, your overall SEO rankings for that page. So this is the word scope SEO signals. If you wanna get the full analysis, just head over to the analysis tab and you'd be able to see your readability score. Right now we have a C. And you'll also be able to see your overall SEO score based on your content performance. 
and your overall SEO score based on your word vector performance. So right now, our, our overall SEO score based on our content performance is 63, and our overall SEO score based on your word vector is 67. And if we scroll down, we'll be able to see how and where we can make some changes for this blog post. So these sections are not relevant to your target keyword. Use more keywords related to your target keyword in these sections. So if we head over to section five, we'll be able to see what we need to include within this paragraph to improve the overall SEO score. So it wants us to write about Jasper AI starter plans, Jasper AI boss mode blog post examples. So this is giving us some content ideas in which we can include within this specific blog post. And if we head over to section 15, we also get some other keywords in which we can include within this article. So best SEO content writing software, AI content writing software, um, Jasper AI songwriter generator change, Jasper AI boss mode free trial page. So again, these are all pretty good keywords in which we can use to include um, within our articles. Section 16, again, we get some more examples. And um, as we continue going down the list, we see some more examples of um, edits and changes in which we can make within this article. And you'll also be able to see which sections are pretty good. So you, you'll be able to see which sections have good content um, that are relevant to the keyword in which you're trying to rank for. And then you'll also be able to see which sections are highly optimized for your target keyword. So not only do you get recommendations, you also see what you've done that is correct and what you've done that's helping you rank for that specific keyword. So this is actually a really, really good analysis. And I like that it's built into your website SEO tool. So a lot of times the content editor tools in which I use, they don't really have any overall website SEO features. It's only specific for ranking um, pages or blog posts on Google. So I like that this is included within your website SEO tool because you can just get one tool and do all of your overall SEO optimizations and also do your blog posts or individual pages um, optimizations. And if you wanna access any of the other features on BIQ, just hit the hamburger menu on the left-hand side here, and you'll be able to choose between the keyword intelligence. We're on the content intelligence right now, rank intelligence and rank tracker. So let's continue by taking a look at the keyword intelligence. So this allows you to find high value keywords that gives you more traffic. So once you've entered that keyword, just click search and you'll be able to get a lot of information related to that specific keyword. So this is kind of like a traditional keyword research tool. You'll be able to see some related keywords. Um, you see the trend of that specific keyword. You also see the search volume, the CPC, the competition level, the intent. So this is pretty good. So it tells you um, what the intent is if that person is searching up um, that specific um, keyword. And then you also see the value of that keyword. Now, if you wanna get some content ideas, you can hit head over to the content ideas tab. And this is where you'll be able to get more longer tail keywords that you can create a blog post around. So for example, we get keywords such as best reward credit cards, ongoing credit card interest rates, credit card interest rates, best hotel credit cards, best travel credit cards, best small business credit cards, best balance transfer credit cards, and so on. So you actually get some pretty good um, content ideas here in which you can use to uh, write some articles that is related to your target keyword. And you can also get information related to popular questions or trending searches. So we can see here that there is a couple of search terms that uh, may be trending for the past couple of months, and we can capitalize on that and start getting some quick traffic. So for example, credit cards for bad credit um, is a key term that's trending at this time. So you may wanna create a lot of content around uh, bad credit if you are within this niche. So that's the keyword intelligence tool. And next up, let's take a look at the rank intelligence tool. So this allows you to discover rankings that you didn't even know about. So once you enter your website URL, click create new profile. So once your profile is finished loading, this is what it'll look like. You'll be able to see your top rankings, your estimated monthly traffic, and you'll also be able to see your keyword ranking distribution. So you can see how many keywords you have in the one to 100 spot on Google. And if you wanna discover more keywords, just enter um, your information within the search ranking search volume um, section here and click create view. So essentially, you'll be able to filter down as to what type of keywords you would like to discover. So you can uh, choose if you wanna discover keywords within um, the 10th position of Google, within the 100th position of Google, and then you can also choose if you wanna discover keywords within a certain search volume or discover keywords that have a specific keyword um, included in them. So once you've entered your filters, just hit create view and you'll be able to see those keywords um, that BIQ found that is related 
to your website. So in terms of my website, I was able to see the keywords, the search volume, um, the URL, and the position in which I'm ranking for the specific keywords. So this is really, really important and useful information, especially if you don't have a separate SEO tool or a rank tracker, you can see where you're ranking for specific keywords. And then you can also use the content intelligence tool, which we used at the beginning of this video to improve those pages to um, improve the rankings uh, of those specific pages and of those specific keywords. And if you wanted to track those rankings or those keywords, you can use the rank tracker, which allows you to track and monitor your website rankings. So you can get started by entering your domain name or your website URL, or you can use the keywords in which you found in the keyword intelligence and rank intelligence. And once you load up your URL, this is what your dashboard will look like for the rank tracker. You'll be able to see the keywords in which you're ranking. You'll be able to see the movements um, for those rankings, your ranking distribution, and you'll be able to see that on mobile as well. And you'll also be able to see your keywords and pages overview. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with BIQ. I thought it was gonna be like every other SEO tool, um, which has the same basic features, but they actually have some pretty unique and useful features that you can use to help you improve your overall website SEO, but also allows you to optimize specific web pages and blog posts to increase your rankings on Google. So BIQ is kind of a hybrid between a content optimization tool and a website SEO tool. Usually if you're getting a website SEO tool, it's only focused on helping you improve your overall website SEO score and not really focused on improving individual pages and ranking those pages on Google. So you do get both of those features included with this tool. So if you are in the market and you're looking for a website SEO tool and a content optimization tool, then this would be a great option for you. So if you want to grab it, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it useful. If you did, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.